Let us start by carefully reading the problem. We need to find the value of 249 squared minus 248 squared. Now we could calculate 249 times 249 and then 248 times 248 and subtract them. But that would be very time consuming and there's a high chance of making a calculation error. Let's look at the structure again. It is in the form of a number squared minus another number squared. This is a very famous algebraic identity known as the difference of squares. The identity states that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. Now let's apply this to our problem. Here, a is 249 and b is 248. So our expression 249 squared minus 248 squared becomes 249 minus 248 times 249 plus 248. Look how simple this is now. Let's calculate the value of the first bracket. 249 minus 248 is simply 1. Now for the second bracket, 249 plus 248. 9 plus 8 is 17, carry the 1. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, 2 plus 2 is 4. So we get 497. Finally, we just need to multiply these two results. 1 times 497 is, of course, 497. So the value of 249 squared minus 248 squared is 497. This matches option D. Let's do a quick verification. The difference between the squares of two consecutive numbers is always their sum. This is because n plus 1 squared minus n squared becomes n plus 1 minus n times n plus 1 plus n, which is 1 times their sum. So the answer must be the sum of the two numbers, 249 plus 248, which is 497. Our answer is correct. Getting the right answer is great, but what if you made a mistake? A simple error could be a sign of a deeper knowledge gap. Stop just getting answers. Understand the why behind every mistake with a one-to-one -one AI mentor that knows how you think. Try your first interactive lesson today.